Christine Mary and Christmas and uh, a special guest. Now we're going to talk about a kind of important topic that most of us that we are studying in a, in a agronomy school we need to know because it is one of the main important one of the important techniques that we have to use in order to have a a, a productive a productive a cattle and we have if we have a if we have a productive cattle we'll have more uh, production. <laughs> uh, first of all, this topic the topic that we're going to talk about is about artificial insemination, but especially a uh, uh, in cows, so we are going to we are going to explain to you the techniques used in cows. So first of all, we want to give a, a short definition of the artificial insemination, and it says that artificial insemination is the process mm -hmm. of collecting sperm cells from a male animal and manually depositing them into a reproductive tract of the female. So in short words, uh, we took the semen of the, of the male, we selected and went through this process, we introduce the semen on the uterine body in the cow, or in this case, in the female. So, uh, and then all the cells and all the hormones in, involved in this process began to uh, to the development or to the development of the of the cells. Well, the recollection of semen is like, easy to make it. And one is of the main advantage is that we reduce cost. So what I'm preparing with it, because we are reducing the use of tools and we are having more space to have more cows. So if we have like one bull and like 10 cows, we will have uh, like um, in one day or in one week. This will use will probably like in a traditional way. We will have just like two cows, and if we are using insemination, and we probably will have thousands. Okay, we can have better breeds. Like we can make a um, better management of the establishments and removing dangerous of milk field because um, when we go to every ranch we see that bulls are like bad and they hurt all the cows when we are, they are trying to get up them and also we create like mm. a kind of purity Well, as we can see, um, insemination artificial just involves some very great benefits, but the disadvantages have to be considered too. And first of all, we, we will talk about that insemination artificial is a technique that requires well-trained operators and special equipment. And I have to say that insemina artificial insemination doesn't um, not, does not only involves animals but also human beings that means when you are just getting in these processes you need some very great operators that get some great average of experience in order to, yeah, that you can assure that the processes all things are just going well in the processes the secondly it improper cleaning of instrument and in sanitary conditions may lead to lower fertility that means um, the second point is related to the animals. Um, when you are just getting the semen and you will just introduce it in the, the female the female body, that means if you're, you are using some, using some equipment that, um, not, uh, that are improper, you can just transfer some diseases to the female. And semen has to be stored properly otherwise it will become no longer viable that means um, the semen of the animals are like photosensible that means they cannot tolerate um, the soil light so you have to you have to yeah you have to just 
um, keep it in the very great conditions, in the optimum conditions to just um, like get the, 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 the average that you're expecting for, right? Uh, well, now we're going to explain to you the technique that is used, that is mostly used on animals because the techniques of using humans are completely different. So, first of all, I'm going to draw the, the reproductive tract of a cow. So, yeah. imagine this is, okay, thank you. We have the cow, okay? And this part, we have what is known as the rectum. And this part below, we have the vagina. You can see, right? And then, uh, after the vagina, we have something that is called the cervix. That it has a, a like three rings, and, and after the vagina, we have the uterine body, and the uh, and this section is where we need to deposit all the semen recollected. So, uh, I don't know if you, can, if you can help me with the computer. So. Here, there is like more a, a, a picture that explains a more like a, a specific the process of a doing an, an artificial insemination, but on cows, on cows, yeah. So first of all, the artificial insemination is divided into two uh, important parts. First of all, a, a, the instrument used to deposit the semen in the uterine body is a it's called like a gun. It's like a big, a, you can see over there, this part of the, it, these like line that you can see is the, the gun that is introduced in the vagina of the cow. So in the interior of this gun it are the, the semen of the, of the bull that you already collected and, and, and selected. So first of all, uh, you need to, second, you need to use your both hands. One, as you can see, one hand is introducing on the rectum of the cow, and the second one, that is the right hand, is a, is a specific, you, you have to, with the right hand, you will manipulate the gun in the, in the reproductive tract of the cow. Okay, so the process are very specific. First of all, you need to introduce the, the gun in the reproductive tract, as we can see, and second, and second, you have to move the cervix, that is a part over there, so that the gun can move easily through the cervix, and a, and at the end, we have this circle, there is the uterine body, where you will deposit the semen. semen. So, when you introduce, uh, when you will, when you introduce the, the gun, you have like to close your, your hand, and like in a triangle. So imagine that this is the this is the the, the 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 vagina of the cow. So you close your hand in in a triangle, and then you move it, or you make a little pressure. You make a little pressure, and then it will open. So when it opens, you introduce the gun, like a, a four a, a one fourth of the long of the gun in the vagina. Then. You introduce your left hand in the rectum that is over the, the vagina. So the, you use the same method. You close your hand and like in the triangle and you introduce it in the rectum. But as we can see, uh, this part is the rectum. So when you introduce your hand, you have to move your hand uh, really close to the bottom of the rectum so that the manure can, can move over your hand avoiding to uh, contaminate the vagina or, 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 or contaminate or to or make it easy uh, when you are going to find the cervix. Wait, okay. <laughs> so we know that the cow really uh, felt like it's something weird because you have your hand in the rectum. So he, she will uh, do something, some uh, contraction or some pressure in order to expose your hand out of the out of the rectum, so the way or, or the technique that you have to use in order to re, to reduce these stress or these contractions 
The constructions are the things that you see here. So if one way to reduce this construction is to make a, 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 a message. With your two fingers, you do a message back and forth. And it will help you to relax the, the rectum and to have a more space to, man, to move your hand and, and find it in, 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 in order to find the cervix. When you have your hand uh, in the rectum and, the, and, and your right hand manipulating the gun, the important thing is that you need to have the cervix, you need to find the cervix that is this part. When you find the cervix, uh, you will recognize because it has like three rings. And you, uh, it, has like, it has a three rings. So you have to use your fingers uh, and touch them so you can fill the rings and, and manipulate the cervix in order to, to pass or in order to introduce the gun in the cervix. So, when you already when you already localize the cervix, you have to move it in order that the gun pass through the cervix. And before the cervix, you will find, as I already said, the uterine body. So when you find the uterine body, it's the, it's the perfect place where you have to deposit the semen. And we can see on the picture that it will really look at the uterine body, so it deposits the semen that has already been selected. And that's the uh, technique of the artificial semen. Uh, to sum up, uh, uh, to sum up this, we've concluded that um, artificial insemination can help uh, in a lot of, uh, when it comes to production, it can help a lot. And when we talk about the cost, it can actually re reduce them. Uh, another advantage is that we can maintain the purity when we use uh, um, the high genetic. And uh, also, yes, you can, uh, take breeding records, more easily management, more efficient establishment. Uh, allowing removing dangerous uh, make field, and also we can have a better selections of better selection of the, of the males. Uh, also, we can have get enough spring of cows with greater uh, genetic purity, and. Uh, um, another thing that we've concluded about this uh, artificial insemination is that, um, in a way, we can we can uh, having more more purity and it's like we can re get more reproduction and be more efficient. And also, I think that um, we have to be careful is that we we have the our hand of the rectum. We have to introduce a gun in 45 rate because if if we don't, we are going to have a this careful. We are going to lose the semen. So, do you have any question or something? This inseminal artificial insemination is is recommended recommendable for all the all the. Uh huh. Yeah, they are recommended because through artificial insemination you can have a, a more pretty um, cow, a good basin of cows. So it doesn't but matter if it's dairy cattle or a breed cattle, it's the whole purpose for everything. Mm -hmm. Also you can use it in horse. Uh, yeah. uh, being inseminated um, do not only involve um, species, you know, but it's only when you want to produce more or when you cannot reproduce we, we, we have to reproduce more cows or we can use insemination. Can you mention some methods to collect the semen? It's like the, an artificial vagina that you use and the animal feels that it's like in a traditional way but, the, but after the like artificial vagina but you have it's like a something to recommend the semen so the animal doesn't get hurt and